What is HARP you ask? It is the most clandestine project ever created by our government to manipulate, control, and alter the weather around us. Don't believe it, look at the recent wave of hurricanes that have destroyed Texas, Florida, Georgia and now see how many other hurricanes are moving into the United States. It's no coincidence, just open your eyes and see it for what it is, evil. Um, I'm doing this video in relation to the subject matter of the uh, current hurricane that's coming up uh, across the state of Florida, basically on the west end. Um, and you already can see the title of this video has to do with HARP. Now if you don't know what it means, it stands for High Altitude Radar De Reflector Program. It basically it means, in a nutshell, that the United States government has the ability to control and manipulate the weather. And this program has been in existence probably for the last five or ten years and the site which is pretty much a hush hush subject is located someplace uh, near the equator and uh, it's obvious why they put it there because you have the major jet streams uh, that originate probably at the equator where you have the different heat patterns colliding with each other and uh, basically the entire installation is located on an island or something like an island and it's an array of, of antennas and they just point it straight up into the atmosphere and I attribute that the United States government manipulates the weather and it's probably is creating these these hurricanes that we're seeing you've got um, uh, Hugo or, or uh, I can't remember what the other there's there's two other hurricanes that are coming up this direction uh, in progressive order from uh, Africa and uh, Irma is the largest hurricane ever recorded uh, according to the National Weather Service it's never been a storm this size that's ever attack, uh, hit the United States until now and honestly if if HARP isn't doing this the only person I can attribute to why this is happening is God is sending his wrath on America because of the heinous uh, immoral lifestyles we live with in this country and he's basically saying I'm, I'm, I'm wiping this nation out of, of the filth that uh, you tolerate as a society but you don't recognize that there's somebody more higher up the chain of command of life than yourself and God is, 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 is taking out the, the various parts of the United States. He's already uh, used uh, Harvey to take out Texas. They're saying Texas will be this way for years. Now you've got Irma taking out the uh, southeastern United States quarter of Florida, Georgia, uh, into Alabama and Tennessee. And it to me it's no coincidence that either God is using what the government's doing with HARP to kill those uh, heinous persons who control so much of this country uh, and, and they're manipulating it for their own evil purposes forcing the kinds of things that are happening in America on average American citizens uh, forcing us to accept things that we know are immoral gay marriage it's not consecrated by God homosexuality guess what happened to Sodom and Gomorrah do you think God is going to look the other way indefinitely and say this kind of lifestyle is acceptable I don't care what a person says whether they're atheist or otherwise these are facts they happen they're in the Bible there's several other cultures who have identified and written these facts down about historical global events that have happened. The flood took place, um, you, you know, the Tower of Babel and so forth. It's fact. It happened. People cannot deny the fact that what the Bible says has been proven true every single time. Today, America is, is as degenerate, as depravitated 
as Sodom, as Gomorrah, as Babylon, and I attribute what we're seeing of these hurricanes and uh, people forget August 21st there was the uh, the total solar eclipse. They say, oh, that's just a normal process of uh, the astrological signs that all happens and whatever. Well, these are signs. God said there would be signs, and I guarantee you, if if you're ignorant, if you're ignorant enough to believe these are all coincidences, then I say stick your head back in the sand where it's been, and whatever happens next, you're probably not going to be even aware of it because you're probably one of these people who lives on pot taking and smoking marijuana and then you say well you know it's legal and it's like it is only legal because enough degenerates think it should be legal and therefore they make it but God says otherwise because he's told us that over and over again in history you do wrong you're going to be responsible you'll be held accountable he says wrath comes to those who don't do not repent, to not turn from the evil they've done, and the United States, I, I see this country being, it was so good, it was going in one direction for 200 plus years, and then all of a sudden Obama came into office and said, uh, we're going to change everything that the United States is based on, we're going to change it to fit our lifestyles. And now I think God is saying, it's not about you, Obama. It's about what worked and what has to work in America for it to exist as a nation. And the first thing is you get rid of the depravity, the degenerates, the uh, those demonic, the demonic forces. I mean, Trump may have gone with Schumer and with Pelosi about giving aid to Texas, but I guarantee you there's something more to it than that. Trump is probably just using whatever clout these people have to get help to people who need it, but I don't think he's turning his back on what he stood by when he became president of this country. And there's always an end to a means, and Trump is doing that by giving uh, in to the Democrats uh, philosophy of socialism and new world order to uh, accomplish a, 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 an, a, an attempt or at least an opportunity to give some relief to people at least in Texas who are suffering because of Harvey. But I, I still believe and I still think that President Trump is the smartest guy we've had in office since Ronald Reagan. I cannot say that George W. Bush or George Bush were decent because there's been things proven about them that they gain popularity and power from really just unethical ways and all of that of course has been proven since Obama was uh, was dictator king of America he was not a president because he was not legitimate nobody could ever prove beyond a shadow of a doubt he was even an American citizen Trump even said that before the election, but he had to change his attitude about it because he knew that if he stood by what was really the truth, uh, Satan's groups of, of uh, hitmen within Washington would say, you're not staying because we're going to either, maybe they threaten him with an assassination. You don't say what we tell you to say in certain things about what Obama did would just get rid of you. And so that could be why he changed that philosophy after he became president. It isn't a, it's not him uh, sort of like uh, admitting a lie or saying, you know, it's not true, he was an American citizen because nobody ever showed Obama's long for form proof of citizenship. They only showed him, they showed America a, a short term firm, form, which is, government can make that to, for anybody. Anybody can get a short-term uh, birth certificate. And what it proves is that Obama was exactly what everybody knew he was. He was, he, he was a dictator. He still is a dictator. He is, in my book, he's the Antichrist. He's the, uh, he's the Mahdi uh, for, the, for the Muslims because he stands by the Islamic belief of a jihad. He stands by the caliphate 
which is kill all who do not accept Allah, who do not accept Islam. What, what, Obama kept saying it over and over again. Islam is the greatest religion on earth. That's what he said. More times than once. And to get back to what HARP is all about, HARP is totally funded not only by the United States government, but I guarantee you it has indirect ties to the United Nations. The United Nations really is the platform for the Antichrist. When he comes to power, that's where he's going to control all of the civilized nations on earth because that's where he has to have his primary support. He has to have the, uh, the European market. He has to have um, all primary civilized nations backing him up to continue his rise to power. And for Hart, they can change things uh, at a moment's notice. Now, let, let me say something about this. I heard this today. The United States National Weather Service made a threat against Rush Limbaugh. This is the only radio talk show host who has been saying the flat-out truth about Obama when he was president, before he was president. He's the only one other than Sean Hannity who is, as yet has not been... Uh, um, he hasn't been condemned by the socialist media, by the liberal media. They got rid of Bill O'Reilly. They got rid of so many other people who were so predominant in radio because they stood for what was right, but they found little sleaze things in their past and they, they, they killed them. They destroyed their reputations. This is what the National Weather Service told Rush Limbaugh when Irma was identified coming up the coast. They said, for the stuff you've been telling America on radio shows, uh, we're going to send the hurricane right to your door. You know what that implies? That HARP itself is manipulating the hurricanes. They're manipulating Irma, and they're going to send it right up, uh, right up to his doorstep, Rush Limbaugh's doorstep. And Rush Limbaugh's the only smart guy on radio today. He's been the honest one telling people, this country is totally screwed up because of what Obama did before, during, and after he was president of the United States. And that's why you have black supremacy going out far and wide from one coast to the other of America saying, we're not going to let you live the way you have been living. We're going to take those rights away from you. We're going to destroy the cultural history of a particular region of America, the South. And it doesn't matter what happens. So when the National Service, Weather Service told Rush Limbaugh that, when they said, we're sending that, that hurricane right up your ass, they were saying, we control the weather systems that are out there. And they're using HARP, which is a high altitude radar reflector, to change and create weather systems. And they're saying we're sending it against people who are against President Barack Obama. We're sending weather, and we're going to kill those people uh, or, or cause such heartache on society, it'll, it'll force you into submission of accepting the new world order, of accepting the philosophy that what the Democrats are saying is the only acceptable outcome for what's been going on with President Trump, that he's this, he's that, and it proves over and over and over again Satan is using the Democratic Party to instigate what will eventually it'll be a martial law. And then once martial law is instigated, who can say that the Democratic Party doesn't gain total control over the presidency and says, you're out, we don't want you, we never voted you, even though the American people did, and they'll put Obama back in. And that's how his global reign will begin in America and the entire world, because now Obama is now in full control of America. That is the nightmare. Not Hurricane Irma, not uh, any of these other storms that's coming, that has come. It is, it is the United States government, the establishment, using HARP to create weather systems and using them to create 
massive death, massive destruction of property, and it's all to create um, the total viewpoint of submission to what the, the, the Democratic Party is saying. Trump, maybe he gave in in certain aspects of that to say we need to get relief to these people in, 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 in Texas about Har uh, Harvey. But I still think Trump is going to stand firm on what he said, that this man is Christian, he's going to do what's right for America. Maybe sometimes you'll have to, uh, you know, have collusion with the enemy, being the Democrats, but I don't think he's going to totally go their way. I think he's using them for, for helping those who need help, but I don't think he's giving in to them and saying, well, I can't do anything about it. I'm just going to have to give in and do whatever they tell me. I don't believe that. Um, but the video today is only to explain to people about HARP. HARP manipulates the weather. It controls it. It changes it. The government can send whatever system they want to create wherever they want it to be. And they've been experimenting with HARP for, as far as I know, since the early 2000s, or the, the late 1990s. And now you've got people who have so little perceptions of right or wrong. People have no consciences anymore. That's why the government can do all this stuff, and, and nobody says anything about it, because they know we really can't change or manipulate people's minds at least Obama couldn't do it during the time he was president, but he did spend quite a, a, a chunk of government money to do brain research. So they're saying, well, we've got HARP and it's already perfected, we'll use it to, uh, to make a deterrent against people who are trying to, re, 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 to retaliate against the, the new world order, the global government system that we've already created. And they're using the weather systems to knock out certain parts of the, of the United States to uh, not only create chaos, but just to to kind of knock down the resistance, knock down the, the strength that people have from God to, to resist what Obama started in 2008. And people who don't want to hear it are the ones that lash out and say, you're crazy, you don't know what you're talking about, because they have no answer. They're not saying it isn't happening. They're saying basically, we just don't want to hear it. Oh, you got no proof of this or whatever. I'm like, all you got to do is look it up on the internet. It's everywhere. It's all over the internet. But um, that is really what Harp is doing. And for Rush Limbaugh, I'm sorry for him that he's in the path of one of these storms. But the government can do that to anybody. You know, they can do it. They can send it anywhere in the world. I'm sure. It isn't just something they control for the Western Hemisphere. It could be the Southern, North, the East Hemispheres, anywhere in the world they can send these things. So, anyway, thank you for letting me share. And I, again, say this, that HARP is something that the United States government, which is part of the New World Order, is using against the American people as a deterrent to stop us from being able to resist what Obama started for eight years.
go. I say go away. You bother me.